Edward Abbott Abbott published a book in 1884 called Flatland, which was a story about beings which exist in two dimensions. These creatures are free to move forwards and backwards and from left to right, but they have no concept of up or down. Imagine that we, in our 3D world, could pass a sphere right through their 2D world. As soon as the sphere touched their plane, they would be aware of one point, as shown here. They would not be aware that a sphere was passing through their plane. Now watch as the sphere rises through the plane. There, they would see that single point on their plane. And then they would start to see circles getting bigger and bigger. And then start getting smaller. Until they completely vanish when the sphere is above their plane. The basic equation of a sphere is this. If I adjust the sphere equation to this, the sphere can be moved vertically through the plane by varying the constant c. The sphere crosses their flat world where z equals zero, so the equation then becomes this, simplifying to this equation. And if I vary the value of c between negative five and positive five, the flatlanders only see circles in their plane. I'm just going to take away the sphere and just show what the flatlanders see. There's the circles increasing in radius, and that's the maximum radius, then they decrease again and appear to just vanish. Now I will do the same thing in four dimensions. For the fourth axis, I will use the letter W. I did not want to use T for the fourth axis because I did not want to imply the fourth dimension is time. So I will move the 4D shape, given by this equation, along the W axis by changing the equation to this, and I'll vary the C. This 4D shape will intersect with our 3D space when W equals zero. That is when the equation becomes this. And simplifying, we get this equation, which is a series of spheres. Just like in the flatland case, the creatures could not see the 3D sphere. They could only see the circles in their own 2D plane. In this case, we will not be able to see the 4D shape moving along the w axis in the fourth dimension we will only be able to see what the 4d shape becomes in our 3d space which is a series of spheres this is our 3d space and as soon as the c value becomes negative five we see a single point in our three dimensions and then increasing the c value we suddenly get spheres increasing in size to a maximum radius of five centimeters, say. And then they start decreasing, finally disappearing from our three dimensions.